Grace, welcome back to my channel. My first question is, is this light better or is the natural light better? I'll put in a clip of the natural light. I probably prefer the natural light, but I've got my studio light on, which I prefer a ring light, but we've had this since I was 10 and we're just going to work with it. Yeah, I haven't done a sit down video in a while. I've done like sit down part of vlogs videos, but I haven't done like an actual sit down video in a while. Um, today is, just to remind myself what day of quarantine I'm on, today is the 12th of May. I'm going to talk about the situation, which I don't want to go into too much detail because we all know what's happening and we all see the news. It's basically, like, we can't avoid it. Whereas I've been productive during quarantine, I'm not here to make myself like an acai bowl every day or like working out outside. No, we're just, we're just doing our best. I look disgusting, my hair looks an absolute mess. Because I didn't bother getting ready this morning. It is now half one and I haven't bothered getting ready at all just for this video. I do have to be ready for a Zoom call today. I'm doing a Zoom quiz with my friends. We do it like every Monday or Tuesday. So we're going to start now. Um, I probably should have a mirror but I don't have it. We're using the Fenty Beauty. We're using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the shade 150. Just like a sort of basic makeup I might put lashes on but I haven't worn lashes in about three months yeah I got this for cream um, yeah I'm using palette today I'll be using is the conspiracy palette I have notes on my phone I smell burning you know what if that goes on fire I'll cry I'm just gonna have to say a big fat rest in peace to my little light because it's been like half an hour since it started burning and my autofocus is so bad I apologise. So we're gonna have to just deal with it. I never do this much makeup by the way, I never do this much. So this is kind of like a little rare occasion. I look so pale. I don't really need this as such on my spots like I usually do because I have a lot of spots to do. But we're just gonna do one, two swipes under my eyes, and we're just using the collection Lasting Perfection in Cool Medium, which to be fair, I really need fair. But I do get tanned in the summer, so let's hope that's what it's all about. We're gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer. We're really hit pan. Oh, I think we just broke it. Beauty Guru Freeze. But we've got a little bit around the corner, so we're just gonna use that. What the question is, I still got like these IKEA things that everyone used to have, as well as the IKEA Vanity and Alex. I usually use this brush, which is a spectrum one, but we're gonna use Real Techniques one to change it up a bit. I've increasingly got better at bronzer and contour. I would say I got better, that looks so ridiculous. I need to put some tan back. Looks so bad. I need to put some tan back into my face because I actually my forehead is tanned but that's because I like to go my phone outside when I'm sunbathing and I get bored so I have to just do that and put sunglasses on and cover the rest of my face. CMA original no colour powder. It's like when everyone uses it, it's from Beauty Bay. My face is so fat, sorry. It's from Beauty Bay and I'm just gonna like try and smoothen this out. I've planned a couple of videos coming ahead. I'm gonna do my next video should be reacting to my old TikToks which I might film tomorrow or I might film later today but it's reacting to my old TikToks which is so cringy and it was when I was going through like my start last year I sort of went through like three months of my chav phase. It didn't last very long. I was still like I wasn't a chav I just was there with them. So I'm gonna talk about the UK so I apologize if this is no interest to anyone who it's not from the UK. Put it down here because of concealer. But it's just like, we've had a, the policy was stay home. Stay home, wash hands, protect lives, whatever. And we've only been in this situation for like, nearly three months. <laughs> That's it, only. Still not solved. And people are, thousands of people are still dying. I don't know if we're at 30,000 yet. I don't know what will be at by the time this video goes up. And we're already sending people back to work. Like people are seeing their boss 
before they see their family. And now it's the new rule where is now you used to only go out for like a you can go outside unlimited time. And you can go on beaches and stuff. He literally said this. This is looks like I've just been snorting stuff. Don't do drugs, I don't do drugs. Stick by that one. Like having walks, having picnics. But you're still not meant to be in two meters of people. And now you can meet with one friend apparently. Which just don't meet with anyone. Like, personally, I'm not gonna be meeting my friends. Um, I haven't seen, I can't say I've seen a, a single per one of my friends since this whole situation. Literally haven't. Like, usually, like, I'd see people, if I was going to town, I'd see people, like, on ha having a walk. Uh, or, like, people in town that I know. But everyone's having roots, like, their walks are going to be roots around them. This situation, it's obviously difficult, and people are really struggling. Like, people are losing their lives, but people are also, like... People are losing lives from the coronavirus, but people are losing their lives because of the coronavirus. Does that make sense? Like their mental health has gone down and people are tragically giving up. Oh, that looks so bad. Surprisingly, I've been coping well. I think it's just because in the weekends, like people ask me like, my friends don't usually ask me to go out of the house. They go out with other people. So I'm like, I can do this. <laughs> Cause I just stay in the house the entire time and it's fine. And I've been doing that. Eating has been a major thing to help you go. I'm not a health officer, but personally, I'd recommend you don't meet up with anyone or stay out all day or sit and have picnics on benches where possible people who've had it or have been sitting and put their hands over it. I mean, just take precautions. And this sleek blush for ages. In Sahara, it's a mess. Like a lot of my children been cancelled, which first of all, when it was all started and it wasn't that serious, I was like good because I was like, oh, when all the club date is closed. But now I'm just so used to disappointment that it's like, oh well, it's like it's a shame. But now we have more money towards other things. But yeah, so so far I've been cancelled. I have been see Beautiful, the musical. I did the update video beforehand, but. Like when I was gonna before my vlogs, but then it never got up because it was so outdated. So hopefully this will be up this Friday that I'm filming this. Because I didn't see Beautiful the Musical. I was meant to see Jamie twice. I was meant to see Red Shoes on May. I was meant to see Six on the 30th of June. But I'm not seeing obviously I'm not seeing that because I think it's been cancelled. But I've booked for next year when they come back. But it's like that's like different. And I'm meant to see. Carrie Hope Fletcher in La Mis. It was meant to be the 13th of June, rescheduled for the 11th of July. Don't think it's going to happen. So, oh well. Like, I'm sad, but everyone's in the same boat, like, in the chances. Like, on Broadway. Which I have something to talk about, because, oh, it's matchstick in Starstruck. But anyway, so basically, about Broadway, there's a lot of people who are obviously aren't, like, Sabrina Carpenter and Mean Girls, that aren't getting go on for their, like, limited run. But I was... And um, I've been doing a lot of like, as much theatre stuff I can possibly do during this whole quarantine. So I've watched a lot of bootlegs. And um, one of the first bootlegs I decided to watch because I was like, right, I'm gonna make this, use this time. Like, I don't agree with bootlegs, but if they exist, it's been a couple of years. Like, I don't even actors are watching them now, so. If they already exist, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing people can do about it. The harm's done, like, the harm's done, the show's over. Yeah. So. Pretty sure all the shows I've watched, the show is closed now, so. The first one I watched was Full Settles because I found that I could iCloud drive with loads of bootlegs on, and I was just like, mm -hmm, I'll be curious. And then I found Andy Reynolds' PBS concert, so I was like, I'll watch it. As it exists, it's been like two years. I'll watch it, no harm done. So, I did. <laughs> and... This is in double gleam. And it was like good, but it wasn't the full thing. But I tried my best. I watched my little clips. I have my little clips. Life's good. Got obsessed with Andrew Reynolds, which I was obsessed with Book of Mormon, which means I was obsessed with Andrew Reynolds in a way, but like not the level of obsession I have been recently. Um, so I decided I was on a mission to watch everything he has ever done. So I watched every single interview. <laughs> this is over the course of like two weeks I did this all. I watched every single interview. I found Full Settles bootleg. I watched it, and I watched it with my mum, <laughs> I mean, I thought I'd watch it, and then I ordered his book, 
No, I read that in two days. I just did eyebrows. It looks so bad right now, but I've got concealer under them and I use the Revolution Pro in dark brown with my Anastasia dip brush. Anastasia brush, I don't know. <laughs> Thing under my eyebrows. I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. What I was talking about was basically I've watched everything under on like it's Hedwig, whatever. So I'm obsessed with false titles, listen to it over and over again, you every word by like two weeks. I listened for like seven weeks and I know people have been in love forever but like I was literally obsessed like the most obsessed I've been in like that many time amount of time and then it was announced that like they were going to do a zoom call with like Andrew Reynolds, Christian Ball who I love, Stephanie J Block who I love, Brandon Uranowitz and Anthony Rosenthal, Tracy Toms, Betty Wolf and I was like I need to get on this. So I spent £35 <laughs> to attend and they got donated, which was really nice. It was like my money, and I obviously had nothing else to spend it on apart from clothes. So I'd rather spend it on an experience. So that was at 8 pm ET time. I'm just gonna take Tanic on. Oh, one, one, one in the morning. So I really built my caffeine all day. Just take this and it was really fun. Like, Alan said some pictures here. But they just had like talk they talked <laughs> and she left it a little bit early because I think I love him. Cool icon. But they were talking about like when they they think it's gonna over. And Andrew Reynolds and they all agreed on it. Well, and Christian. Andrew said he didn't think Broadway will open until he's heard from the pipeline till January. And it's just it's heart wrenching. I personally have a feeling like Mean Girls and like sorry last year on Broadway. I have a personal feeling it's gonna close. I'm gonna do Diet Root Beer, the exact same brush because I'm gross. I'll do a full video on like musicals and stuff. Like, I'm gonna do my top ten or whatever. But it was really fun. I can't really explain what I'm doing right now because I don't know myself. I'm just blending. I took this brush. We're going to see our ten next year, and we are picking our options. And I've put in my options basically. And I'll tell you a bit. I'm going to do a video on this as well, but I've always been getting work doing this whole thing. I've also been doing like a Joe Wicks workout. And so I'm just picking history. I am doing possibly a photography, music, and RS. Yeah, drug music, photography, and RS if I get picked in them. If not, my, my reserves are triple award signs, sport, and graphic. We're going to go off camera and do a little cut crease. It's done. It's it's really bad, but it's what I can do. Eyeliner one, and I'll show you eyeliner got because you think we're doing that Maybelline Super Precision. Oil. They're so different, but they're alright. They'll do. But I do need to clean these eyelashes. I'll do a bit of bottom mascara using this Clinique lash mascara. It's such a good name. So this is the makeup. The eyelashes haven't like thingy yet and it looks kinda of bad when I look with my eyes but <laughs> we're gonna use stick with this whole like theme. The Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Are You Filming? I'm like Jeffree Star back. You know when you go like welcome back to my channel. Anyway, that was just cringe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't the greatest. But it was a video and it was probably better than my vlog being random and showing my even my very very boring quarantine day but do watch them because they're all right so you know but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the makeup look as i said and i've got some good ideas for the next couple weeks we'll see if i can think of some more but anyway thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>